asking Arthur, when did he start making fiddles? When he started playing? Hey Arthur, <laughs> when did you start making fiddles? Oh, about 40, 1945. 1945. Yeah. And that's when I quit smoking. Right, right after you quit smoking. <laughs> you smoked a pipe, didn't you? Yeah, that's when I got up on the pipe. Yep. The guy told me he had a locker right next to me, and he said, you, I'm, I told him I was going to quit. And he said, well, when you quit, I want that pipe. So when, one day I gave him a pipe, he said, oh, you can't quit. Well, I did. I quit. And I'm so glad I did. And yeah, that's part of why you're still here at 95. <laughs> yeah. And uh, was he the same guy who told you you couldn't make a fiddle? No, I was my brother-in-law. Oh, your brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, boy. I first started in the basement. And you know what Shay was going to do and all that. And that's when Bonnie was around. He was the first one. But anyway, he was, uh, he was down there one day and he said, I was working on trying to make a fiddle carving and trying to carve a scroll make But anyway, she said, What in the hell do you think you're doing? I said, I'm going to make a fiddle. He said, yeah, yeah, you're going to make a fiddle. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make a fiddle. <laughs> and that hit me more than anything. <laughs> I remember one time about 20 years ago um, when I started coming around your house and uh, your, your son, Mickey, was there. And uh, I, I was coming around your house and I was saying, I want to learn how to play bluegrass music. And your son Mickey, he said, no, you can't learn to play no bluegrass music. He could, though. It's funny how that works when someone tells you you can't do something. That's what my daddy always said about me when I was a little fellow. He said, well, he ain't too smart, but he's all the contrary. He's all the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> he's about the same thing, you know.